Here we go. They're going to be set, ready to go. 18, Jeff Shannon and Reno Marchetti up front on the front row. Then Rob Hughes and John Pereira, the rookie of the year. Chris Roberts and Justin Brown, Bobby Spivey and Jamie Good. They take the green flag for 75 laps. The Super Street Showdown at Langley Speedway. Already racing hard on the first lap. 18, Jeff Shannon takes the lead down the back straightaway. Fitz Roberts cuts underneath the 0 1 of Reno Marchetti. He's up to third. Bobby Spivey now takes over the fourth position. Some of these grand stock cars out here have had weight added to them to compete with the Super Streets. 39 off the pace a little bit. Bobby Bradley. Side by side action back here for about fifth, sixth, and seventh, and eighth. Front seven cars get nose to tail. Meanwhile, the 41, that is Paul Lubno, he is moving up. 39 again off the pace and staying down low in the IHOP machine. Getting a little rough up there up front. There's the seven car, John Pereira. He's up to second. Side by side battle for the third position, Chris Roberts. Challenge from Jamie Good. Chris Roberts trying to get to the inside of car number seven. They make it three wide just about on the back straightaway. Chris still can't get to the inside of the seven. Jamie Good shoots to the outside. He takes over the second spot and now goes for the lead on the 18 of Jeff Shannon. Jamie Good, the new leader, Jeff Shannon in the 18. He's back to second. Then John Pereira, car seven. Chris Roberts is there in car six and fourth. Bobby Spivey, the 67, the green machine in the top five, followed by a side-by-side -side battle between Paul Lugno down on the inside of Justin Brown in car 55. Gary Burke in the three car, Reno Marchetti. He's the blue, 0-1. Still a great side-by-side -side battle back here for the second spot. The seven, John Pereira, he gets down low on the 18. John Pereira takes the position away, and so does Chris Roberts in car six. Now Lubno comes underneath. Jeff Shannon back to fifth. There's Justin Brown on the inside of the 18. Eight laps completed. Still racing hot and heavy. The 18, Jeff Shannon on the outside of the 55 of Justin Brown. Bobby Spivey is there in 67. 18 just about slammed the wall, and we got another crash right here. Bobby Spivey, he hits the wall in 67. So does the 55 of Justin Brown. Big crash right here at the entrance to turn one. They got together. Bobby Spivey slams the wall. In turn one, he gets out of the vehicle. His car all tore up. Bobby Spivey out of his vehicle. Big crash here on lap nine. Our first caution flag, we're trying to get to lap 75 for the Super Street Showdown. And a couple of nice looking race cars get torn up early in this event. Bobby Spivey, who was up there in sixth, and Justin Brown was in fifth in the 55. And we had that crash. Jamie Good, he leads. John Pereira, Chris Roberts in the sixth car. Paul Lubno, the 41, 55. Like I said, he was up there in fifth. And then Gary Burke in car three, Jeff Shannon the 18, Michael Farmer in the nine, Rob Hughes the five, Reno Marchetti, Jerry Lamontagni, Michael Waters, Bradley Vaught, Bobby Bradley in 39 with a lot of problems on that machine.
Justin Brown and Bobby Spivey, the reason for the last caution flag. And let's see if anyone chooses to use the cone and advance their position. Mr. Lubno is going to do it in car 41. The only one, though, to go to the outside to use the cone to advance his position. He'll be right next to Jamie Good. Ludno has won a ton of races out here at Langley Speedway driving that uh, 41 car. There he is on the outside of the 36, Jamie Good. Green flag is about to fly. The Super Street Showdown once again. It's lap nine. Rena Marchetti gets a bump to the inside by car number nine. That's Michael Farmer trying to make a move. And just ahead, the 18 all over the racetrack. Jeff Shannon, he got loose before, caused that accident with the 55 and the 67 of Bobby Spivey when he got loose on the front straightaway. Jamie Good gets a good start, and he is out front by about four to five car lengths over Paul Ludno, who advanced up to the second spot. Chris Roberts trying to get by John Pereira in the seven car for the third position. Meanwhile, Reno Marchetti down to the inside of Michael Farmer in the nine car for position. It's a battle for the seventh spot. 55 involved in that wreck with Bobby Spivey and he's running pretty good again. Justin Brown in ninth. Michael Waters falling back a little bit in that 0-2. The 5 gets by Rob Hughes. One, two, and three separated by about eight car lengths between each other. Chris Roberts still all over the back end of the seven. A Hampton Roads plumbing machine, Chris Roberts. Gary Burke quietly up there in the top five in car three. Here goes Reno Marchetti down to the inside of the 18 to take away the sixth position from Jeff Shannon. Fifty five into the 18 of Jeff Shannon. They work it out though in the back straightaway drag race down the back and the 55 takes that position away. Justin Brown up to seven. Five all over the zero three. That's Rob Hughes and Jerry Lamontagny. They fight for the 10th position. Jamie Good with a 10 car length advantage over Paul Ludno back in the 41 and second. The five into the zero three. He's around and up against the wall in between turns one and two. But they keep it going, but they throw the caution flag here. We have another caution that comes out on lap 17. And the zero three just about lost it, but hangs on to it. Gerald Montagny. Don't forget about Langley Speedway's annual awards banquet scheduled for Friday, November the 19th, Holiday Inn, Hampton Coliseum, the convention center. Tickets are $45 each, and they're on sale at the Speedway office. And one lap to go. 55 is going to choose to go to the outside. Justin Brown. Rob Hughes does make it back out on the racetrack in car five. Half a lap to go till the green flag will fly again. And the only driver that chose to use the outside and go to the uh, outside on the cone was the 55 of Justin Brown. We'll see how he can hang up front. Jamie Good, Paul Lubno, John Pereira, Chris Roberts, Gary Burke, and three, the top five cars. 
followed by Reno Marchetti, Justin Brown. He went to the outside, is going to challenge with Lugno for that second spot. Back underway is the green flag. Gets everybody up and back into the gear and into the gas. Justin Brown went from seventh all the way to third by using that cone and going to the outside. He's just ahead of John Pereira in car seven. He's got a challenge now. John Pereira trying to get to the inside of that 55. Justin Brown. Jamie Good pulls away about five car lengths on Paul Lugno. Jeff Shannon having a hard time hanging on to that 18 tonight. Chris Roberts trying to get by the seven. That is for fourth position. Jamie Good with the fastest time today in qualifying. And right now, his last lap, he ran a 19.261. That's an average speed of about 74 miles an hour. Average speed. Jamie Good, 36, leads Paul Lugno in car 41. Justin Brown, the 55, is third. John Pereira, the seven car, is fourth. Chris Roberts all over the back end of his machine. And he's in fifth. Gary Burke back to six. Reno Marchetti, 0 1 is seven. Jeff Shannon, the 18 is eight. Then you get the five. Rob Hughes in ninth. Michael Farmer in the nine car, and he is 10th. Jerry LaMontagne, 0 3 11. 0 2, Mike Waters in 12th. And Bradley Vaught in the zero. Bobby Spy B out of the race, and 39, Bobby Bradley also out of this event. Five trying to work his way back up through traffic. Rob Hughes now challenges the 18. Jeff Shannon battle for the eighth position and he will get it at the exit of turn four. Here goes the sixth taking a look on the inside of car seven. That's a battle for the fourth position between the seven and the six. Seven John Pereira rookie of the year winner and Chris Roberts in the six. Again, Chris Roberts in car six looks to the inside of the seven car between turns one and two. Leans on him a little bit, trying to take away the fourth position. And for the minute, he's got it. John Pereira fighting back, having a great season. It's the rookie of the year nod over Reno Marchetti. Reno back in seventh position in the 0-1. Gary Burke once again he's been up there just inside and outside the top five all night long in car three. What a comfortable lead for the 36 of Jamie Good a full straightaway over Lugno back in the 41 in second. And a little bit further back Justin Brown he's come back quite nicely as a matter of fact after he and Bobby Spivey got together. He's up to third spot. And Chris Roberts, car six, followed by the seven of John Pereira, the three of Gary Burke, Rena Marchetti in the 0 1, right there, all over the back bumper for that position. And that is sixth. Rena Marchetti to the inside of the three car, trying to make the pass. Trying to take away the sixth spot. Closes up right on the back bumper in the turns. 
Sideways is Gary Burke in the three car. He dirt tracks it every time at the exit of turn two and turn four. Lubna looks like his car might be going away a little bit too. And once again, the three sideways at the exit of the turns. Jamie Good leads Paul Lubno, Justin Brown, Chris Robertson, John Pereira in the top five, Gary Burke, Rena Marchetti, Rob Hughes, Jeff Shannon, Michael Farmer all in the top ten. Started the race with 17 cars. Thirty five laps completed a seventy five lap race from the Super Street Showdown here at Langley Speedway. Bradley Vaughn is going to lap down. He's driving the zero. Reno Marchetti doing all he can to get by car number three for the sixth position. Halfway through this race, trying to get to lap 75. Jamie Good way out in front. Lap traffic coming up ahead. It's Jerry Lemontagni, Michael Farmer, Jeff Shannon. Biggest battle on the racetrack is between the three and the zero one. That's a battle for six. Gary Burke and Reno Marchetti. Reno Marchetti gets underneath the three car. Almost got the rookie of the year. Barely missed it. John Pereira snagged that this year. But the pass is made. Reno Marchetti is up to six. Now Jamie Good's got to be very careful trying to get around Jeff Shannon. His car is not handling too well, and he is sideways just about every time that he exits the turns. And Jamie Good, if he's going to pass him on the outside, he's got to be very careful in doing that. He might have the fastest car on the racetrack, but if he gets hit, it could change very quickly. He closes up on the 18 of Jeff Shannon. Thirty two laps to go. Jamie Good goes to the outside of Jeff Shannon now between turns one and two. The guy who's in ninth position is going a lap down now. Jeff Shannon. Side by side racing just ahead of the leader of Jamie Good. The superior number five, Rob Hughes, who's in eighth position now, in jeopardy of going a lap down. He tries to get by Michael Waters in that 0 2 car, goes to the inside of him. Having a hard time making that pass. Bradley Vaughn is next in line, and Jamie Good with heavy traffic just ahead. And it's by Bradley Vaught. 
0 2 Michael Waters now. Jimmy Good slices down to the inside at the exit of the four, and the Goods Automotive 36 makes the pass. Jamie Good leads in car 36, then 41 Paul Ludno, 55 Justin Brown, Chris Roberts in car six and fourth, John Pereira the seven car in fifth, Rena Marchetti the zero one in sixth, Gary Burke the three car seventh, Rob Hughes the five is eighth, Jeff Shannon the 18 is ninth, Michael Farmer the ninth is tenth, and Jerry Lamontagni the zero three eleventh, Michael Waters in the zero two, he's twelfth, Bradley Vaught zero thirteenth. The two drivers out of this event, Bobby Spivey and Bobby Bradley in the 39. Bobby Spivey about to pass a car that's in seventh position. Gary Burke. Michael Waters and Bradley Vaught going at it. They make their way down the front straightaway. They think one of the cars might be leaking something. The two are the zero. Once again, they're watching the two or the zero as they come by. And 55 of Justin Brown closing in on Paul Lugno for the second spot, separated by about four and a half to five car lengths. And Lugno with heavy traffic just ahead in his windshield. The nine, Michael Farmer. And the zero two, Michael Waters. The nine, Michael Farmer just about lost it on the back straightaway. He knows Lugno's coming. Paul Lugno trying to get by Michael Farmer in the zero car. Michael drifts up high a little bit. Here goes Lugno down low to make the pass. And what an incredible lead that Jamie Good has over Paul Lugno. Rena Marchetti trying to get by John Pereira for a top five finish. John in the seven car, Reno back there in the zero one. Tires seem to be going away on that seven. John Pereira, Reno Marchetti is catching him. Fifteen laps to go. Bobby Spivey with a comfortable lead. I don't think he's going to be in any hurry to get up here and get in this uh, mess with the seven and the zero two and the zero. Jamie Good, Paul Lugno, Justin Brown, Chris Roberts, John Pereira, the top five. Rena Marchetti, Gary Burke, Rob Hughes, Jeff Shannon, Michael Farmer in the top ten. Thirteen laps to go for Jamie Good. Here goes Reno Marchetti to the inside of the seven of John Pereira for a top five. And 
They race side by side down the front straightaway. Reno down low. John Pereira up high. Reno makes the pass. He's in fifth. Heavy traffic just ahead of Reno Marchetti closes up on the 0-3. Gerald Montagni, who's several laps down, he slips up high. Let's Reno go down low, but he and the seven car get together. John Pereira and the 0-3. Gerald Montagni got together a little bit. They worked it out down the back straightaway. But a close call for John Pereira in car seven. He loses a lot of ground to Reno Marchetti. Ten laps to go for Jamie Good. Jamie Good about to put the car that's in sixth position a lap down. That would mean he's passed everybody and put him a lap down except for the top five if he can get by John Pereira in car seven. John Pereira is not going to make it easy for him. Jamie Good. Looks on the inside, makes the pass on John. Now everybody except for the top five has gone a lap down at the hands of Jamie Good. Paul Lugno, he's having a hard time getting around that 18. Jeff Shannon, Lugno's in the second spot, goes to the outside of Jeff Shannon. Back in of Jeff's car is wanted to kick sideways, but Lugno, his goes sideways too a little bit. Five laps to go for Jamie Good. Jamie Good, Paul Lugno, Justin Brown, Chris Roberts, and Reno Marchetti, the top five. And just in front of Jamie Good, the leader of the race, is the guy who's in fifth, Reno Marchetti. A spin, Paul Lugno spins between turns three and four. Caution flag is out. Caution is out for Lugno, who was up there in second spot. He spun down at the inside of the racetrack, trying to get around some slower cars. And Lugno brings out our caution flag here on lap 70. A five-lap shootout shaping up. It's going to tighten up the field. And Jamie Good has passed everybody except for the top five. One of those guys will get their lap back. It looks like it will be John Pereira in car seven. He might be the recipient of the lucky dog. We'll wait and see. Five laps to go. Michael Farmer, John Pereira, Gary Burke, Rob Hughes, Jeff Shannon, Jerry Lamontagny, Bradley Vaught, Michael Waters. And the two cars out of this event completely, Bobby Spivey and Bobby Bradley, the 67 and 39. Truck driver Dave Terrell hoping to come into the pits for the final time tonight as they are nose to tail and hoping for a good restart is Justin Brown in car 55 right behind Bobby Spivey. He will lead with five laps to go. Green flag is back out. Spin right here by the 18 of Jeff Shannon. He spins around. No caution flag. He will try and get it refired. He's in a very dangerous spot. And he can't get it refired. Caution flag is out again. Jamie Good, Justin Brown, the six, Chris Roberts, Reno Marchetti, the three car of Gary Burke. 
Zero three, Jerry Lamontagny, followed by the five, Rob Hughes. The nine, Michael Farmer. Bradley Vaught, followed by the zero two, Michael Waters, then Paul Lubno, and the seven, John Pereira. For those guys back there, Lubno and Pereira to work their way through the field in these final five laps. Here's the green. We're back underway for the final five laps of competition for the Super Street Showdown at Langley Speedway, a 75 lap event. Lubno, he's already passed four cars. Battle shaping up for the lead. Here comes the 55 of Justin Brown all over the back end of Jamie Goods, 36. Keeping Jamie Good honest as he makes his way out of turn number two. Chris Roberts back in the third spot, about eight car lengths behind the 55. Gary Burke trying to get by. Reno Marchetti in the 0-1. Michael Farmer goes by. He's off the pace a bit in car nine. Jamie Good will get the white flag the next time by. Good's Automotive number 36, Jamie Good, has led the majority of this race and looking for victory in two laps. Make it one lap now. Justin Brown has ran a great race tonight. Had to come from all the way at the rear of the field after he and Bobby Spivey got together after the 18 got real squirrely on the front straightaway. But the checkered flag goes out. Jamie Good will win at Langley Speedway. The Super Street Showdown. After 75 laps, Jamie Good wins. Justin Brown, the 55 second. Chris Roberts in the six car is third. Reno Marchetti with the top five. He finishes fourth. Paul Lubno, the 41, is fifth, followed by John Pereira in the sixth position. Those cars all on the lead lap, followed by Gary Burke, a lap down in the three car in seventh. Rob Hughes, the five, is eighth. Michael Farmer, the nine, was ninth, followed by Jerry Lamontagny, the 0 3 in tenth. Michael Waters, 0 2 in eleventh. Bradley Vaught in the 0 12th. Jeff Shannon, the 18 13th. Bobby Spivey in 14th, and Bobby Bradley, 39 15th. Those cars able to compete tonight. We uh, started the day with 17 of those cars, but we're able to race 15 of them. And Jamie Good in victory lane. And here's Chuck. You know, I, I don't know if he ran out of gas, so I have to ask you that question. Boy, this thing. We're going to write a, we're in 23666 zip code. We're going to give him a new zip code, a new state, because it was out actually on its own planet tonight. He'll get unsnapped and come on out. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Jamie. Good, right there in the 36. Jamie, come on out here, man. All right, first off, let's 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 rest assured. Did you run out of gas, or you just? <laughs> no, Chuck. Um, we have a weight rule, so I'm just making sure that conserving as much fuel as we can conserve. We we'll push it across, you know, just to make sure. Just conserving as much fuel as we can conserve. I tell you what, you come in here and uh, boy, you you did everything you needed to do today. You put it on the pole, but had to start back back in the back, but you brought it back up front, able to hold this thing in there and just put it. I'm, I'm it's really in a totally different state. Yeah, you know, first of all, I like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Without Him, it's not possible. Um, I like to thank my crew, um, them working on this car, and I like to thank Bobby for getting this car to turn. I mean, we added lead and added lead. And, it just it handled great so i mean it was just you know i mean it was and i didn't have no radio communication all night long so that made it a a, a chore um but uh all in all it was a fun night yeah i want to thank langley speedway as well. <laughs> hold that hold that i appreciate that have a good night sir all right a thousand bucks waits for you right now we have the official nascar will and southern modified tour collectible cap and uh, Bill Mullis providing also a free K&N air and oil filter of your choice. That's, that's like thousands of dollars. 
And how about that? A nice super street showdown winner, 75 laps, and a big check at the payoff. I appreciate it, Chuck. Thanks for Langley and all they do. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, he drives a 36. Jamie Good here at Langley Speedway, your winner.